So today I'm with Benito. Benito, how old are you? I'm 18 years old. Benito, how long have you been out here in the streets of Phoenix? Um, about like two years now. So when you were 16, uh, what happened at home to cause you to come out here to the streets? Um, I just like didn't like how my home was working and the rules and all that. And I wasn't going to school. I dropped out in um, sophomore year. So I was just like, I'm not doing nothing and, and it's just like the drugs just took over me like it's like I couldn't stay home anymore because my mom had a thing that I couldn't like she had to check my pockets when I came through or something and it's, it's just too it's a struggle it's a struggle where like I gotta like show and prove to my family that I could be able to like be clean and stay home it's hard. Are you using a uh, blues counterfeit fentanyl pills? Yeah. Yeah. So when you were 16, is that when you started the pills as well? I started at 14. 14, Benito? Like, yeah. Wait, so how were you introduced at 14 to these pills? What happened? Um, just like friends, like with the people I hung around with. And, and it was like my childhood. My, like a lot of pain and stuff like that and I just didn't grow up the right way I could say everybody doesn't have it perfect but it's like I could say just make the best out of something small you know because now I see it and it's late but not too late I could change my life still but it's like hard it's hard because like these drugs are not no joke What's so hard uh, to get off the drugs? Is the addiction intense where it's like painful if you try to get off or what? Yeah, it's pretty intense. It's like, it could be life draining. It could be life draining like without, or, like having without my drugs and stuff like that. It's, it got to that point. What do the withdrawals feel like for you? Uh, it's, it's something that I wouldn't wish on nobody. Like it's it's hard. It's, just, it's a struggle, you know. It's a struggle. I gotta be hustling every day and stuff like that. And like everybody knows me, so like it's just like I get I get pills for free and stuff like that. And I I don't really get sick, you know. Like I just be smoking and stuff like that. And I always always have something. About how many pills do you smoke per day? Uh, I can I can't tell. Like, uh, like that's that's how many I I can guess. I can guess like about fifty pack. I get told uh, 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 quite frequently that uh, some people do fifty, some people do a hundred. Yeah. Some people say, "Hey, I only do a hundred because I can't afford more. If I could afford more, I would yeah. do more." Does that yeah, sound I accurate? To, I used to do 100 when I used to unplug, like I used to sell, and that's how I used to get more pills and, and smoke more, like because I afforded them and I had them on me all the time, so until I caught charges for it, so yeah. Benito, do you see some of your friends out here, like some people you went to school with? Yeah. And. Why do you think it's it's hitting like people your age so hard? Like, what what, what happens? Is it, is, it, is it at school? Is it the music? No, is it it's family? Just, it's just something. It's just something like that hit the streets so hard, and it, it like like the like the drug, like Percocet is known as like a painkiller. So it's like everybody like that was in pain, and everybody that had like problems and stuff like that that try to run away from them and stuff or or like they didn't try to run away from them but like they try to forget them like forget the problems and stuff like that it's like like they use the drug that, that drug makes you like numb to to pain it makes you numb to like feelings and all that and it's, it's about it when do you think you'll be ready for treatment benito uh I'll be ready like anytime soon. Any 
anytime soon. How? When's the last time you saw your mom, your family? Uh, actually, I seen them like last week. Yeah. Do they come over here to check on you or bring you food, clothes? Uh, no, they live around here. They live around here. Yes. So you stop by? Yeah. To shower, eat, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Rest. And then you stay there for two, three days, and then you have to come back out here again because you need the pills? Yeah. I stay there for two days maximum because I start hurting. The withdrawals yeah, start? I start hurting, and I just can't stay home. Do you have younger siblings? Yeah, I have three. How would you feel if your younger siblings started using I, I, pills? I could not imagine it. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy at all. I wouldn't be happy at all. But, um, how do you deal with the violence out here? People taking your stuff, stealing your stuff, uh, you know, fights. People want to take your, you know, it just... Really, it really, like, it doesn't affect me as much. But there is, like, violence and stuff like that, everything like that. Yeah, you get jacked and all that, but, like, I'm, I'm affiliated with something, so it's, it's hard for me people to touch me or people to steal from me and stuff like that I always have somebody watching over me I always have my brothers like street brothers and stuff like that around me like it's just that I'm not alone all the time what uh what advice would you give to other 14 year olds to young Benitos uh, that are coming up they're at school, their friends offer them these pills. What would you advise them? Uh, just think about the lifestyle because if, if you really want to live in a comfortable place or like, like being stable, like not, not being like in the streets and risking your life and, and like in pain and and it's it's just a cycle of like the same thing and same thing and the same thing i have I tried to get clean for like 10 times now and it's just like i keep coming back keep coming back keep coming back and it's not it's not fun it's not fun to like drugs is not fun and everybody thinks that it's fun in games and all that it's not it's, it's something real and addiction is a, a real thing. It's, it's it's hard to get off of them. You know, it's it's not a game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like if I knew that I would hurt after I tried them. I would have never done them because it's just like it's dumb and stupid. It's it's not something to play with. It's like it's like killing yourself. Literally like hanging yourself up. I notice uh, the sore right there on your on your arm. Can I see the sore? What is that from? Is that a burn mark or what is that? I got in a fight. You got in a fight. What uh, Benito? When you were 14 and you took the pills, you know, there obviously it was a mistake, right? You regret it. If you, if you would have known then what you know now, obviously, right? Hindsight is 2020. We understand that, but. What was it that compelled you to take that? Was it peer pressure? Was it you're curious, you're being rebellious? What do you no, think? No, I just like, like, what was the thing that made me do them and stuff? Right. Like, it's, it's just like, it was like the friendships. It was like people around me. It was, okay. It wasn't nothing big, but okay. yeah. It was something stupid that I did. Let me uh, show you this, this is a, uh, this is a little memorial card. Uh, her name is Gabby. She, uh, I started interviewing her la March of last year. On May 19th of this year, she passed away. She was 22 years old. She had been out in the streets for about five years and she was consuming these pills. Um, what do you think? What do you think about when you see young people that are passing away because of these pills? Does that have an effect on you? It makes me think, like, what was, like, like, 
it could be any 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 one pill. I smoke 50 pills a day, and it could be one of them. You know, it could just it could just be that one hit, and and it's it's hard to think about it like that. Like I really don't think about it, but I do. Like when I get into thinking about it, it's just like it's like my heart breaks. Like it's like like because I know I, I'm on them too. You know. It's just like I don't want to leave my family alone, or, or like, like my daughter, or like my baby mama, or like all those people that love me. I don't want to leave them alone, you know. Like I just don't want to leave yet. I'm I'm like 18 years old, and I still got a long life, you know. How old is your daughter? My daughter's about. Um, she's about nine months. 10 months. What's your name? Malia. Malia. It's a beautiful name. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to give you my number, Benito, so you can call me if you need a ride to a treatment center, if you need a ride to a shelter, a ride to your families. You can call me if you need to speak to somebody, okay? So I'm going to say thank you very much for talking to me. Let me hand you a, a blessing bag. This is from one of my subscribers. Her name is uh, Shorty. Uh, can you look in the contents to see if those are items that you're going to be needing out here? Yeah, yeah, for sure they are. I need these things, you know. There's things that I don't, I don't really like get as much, but I just, I do, but I, I don't, you know, because I don't. When I'm, when I'm on these things, like drugs and stuff like that, I just don't care about myself too much, you know. Yeah. I just like don't take care of myself too much. Like like I have this and stuff like that. I should have been in the hospital already, you know, taking care of it. And it's like I just it makes me careless. It makes me careless about myself, you know. But I appreciate it a lot. Appreciate so, it. So those are toiletries and a shirt in there, yeah, some socks, socks, some, uh, some food, snacks, you know, some, like, some yeah. snacks. And there's also a little letter in there. You wanna pull that out real quick? So uh, that's uh, from uh, Shorty, and uh, thank you, Shorty, for the blessing bag. Benito will will put it to good use. And Benito, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Uh, I just want you to know that you matter out here. Uh, people think about you. People love you. I'm sure your family misses you, and they want you to return home. Your daughter, uh, I'm sure she misses you, and she she wants you in her life. So. Uh, Whenever you're ready, let, let us know and we'll help you with your recovery, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you, Benito. We'll Thank stay you. in touch. Bye.